here, but out west, the California fires are burning wild. But a new fire in New Mexico is leaving a popular resort town a ghost town today. Riodoso, the town of a little under 8,000 people, was evacuated late Monday. We bring in meteorologist Natalie Nunn now to talk to us about when this fire started and kind of what people are looking at out there. Yeah, right well, it was just 24 hours ago that a lightning strike started the South Fork fire three miles north of Riodoso. And within 24 hours, the fire has grown to almost 14,000 acres with 0% containment. And if that's not bad enough, a second fire is burning. The Salt Fire is 0% contained and is covering 4,876 acres. Late last night, a mandatory evacuation order was sent out telling people to go. Don't try to gather your belongings or protect your home. Simply go now. Now, a few years ago, we lived in New Mexico, and yesterday morning, our church there took a group of kids to youth camp in Rio Doso. Pastor Clyde Wood sent me these pictures. They were given a little less than an hour to get 320 kids out of the camp and down the mountain. Now, they safely made it to Roswell late last night. The drive took about double what it normally takes. And Jesse, Riedoso is one of the most southern ski resorts in the United States. It's a charming little town, only two hours north of El Paso. In the summertime, it's full of vacationers from Texas searching for cooler weather. And the forecast for today is similar to yesterday. So winds up to 20 miles per hour and relative humidity in the single digits. You can see the live look here with the fire burning in the distance. This is downtown Riedoso. We'll have more information on this story. You can head to our website, OzarksFirst.com. All right, Natalie, thanks.